Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To change the storage settings in Windows 11, open the settings window and then click the system button at the left side of the screen to show the system settings for your device. Then click the storage category in the pane at the right side of the window to show the storage settings for Windows 11 in the right pane. The storage on your device's local hard drive appears at the top of the storage settings. The storage breakdown by category appears below that. To show more storage categories, click the Show More Categories link under the list of categories to show storage for the hard drive for all categories at the right side of the settings window. To return to the storage settings, click the storage link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the settings app window. The storage management tools in Windows 11 appear under the storage management section of the storage settings. Storage Sense in Windows 11 helps provide automatic cleanup of local files. To turn Storage Sense on or off if you have already configured its settings in Windows 11, click the Storage Sense Settings toggle button to toggle it on or off as desired. To configure your device's Storage Sense settings, Click the Storage Sense Setting button to show the Storage Sense settings in the right pane of the Settings window. To ensure Windows cleans up temporary files, ensure the Keep Windows Running Smoothly by Automatically Cleaning Up Temporary System and App Files checkbox in the Cleanup of Temporary Files section is checked. Note that this setting is separate from the Storage Sense settings which appear under the Automatic User Content Cleanup section below it. To enable Storage Sense in Windows 11 so you can configure its settings, click the Automatic User Content Cleanup Toggle switch to set it to the On position. To choose when to run Storage Sense, select a choice from the Run Storage Sense dropdown under the Configure Cleanup Schedules section. By default, it only runs when Windows detects low free disk space. To set Storage Sense to delete files in the recycle bin that have been there over a period of time, select the time period from the Delete Files in My Recycle Bin if they have been there over dropdown. To set Storage Sense to delete files in the Downloads folder that haven't been opened in a period of time, select the time period to use from the Delete Files in My Downloads folder if they haven't been opened for more than dropdown. To let Storage Sense delete locally saved copies of OneDrive files that aren't flagged as always keep on this device, select when to delete local copies of OneDrive files if they haven't been opened from the Content Will Become Online Only if not opened for more than drop down under the OneDrive setting. To immediately run Storage Sense with the current settings, click the Run Storage Sense Now button. To return to the storage settings, click the storage link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the settings app window. To view and apply cleanup recommendations in Windows 11, click the cleanup recommendations setting at the right side of the settings app window. To view temporary files you may want to remove, click the temporary files setting to expand it if needed. To delete all files in your Downloads folder irrespective of your Storage Sense settings, check the Downloads checkbox in this expanded section. To delete all files in your Recycle Bin, check the Recycle Bin checkbox. Then click the Clean Up Number of Bytes button where Number of Bytes is the number of bytes to free. Alternatively, to view advanced cleanup options in Windows 11, Click the See Advanced Options link in the Temporary Files section to show the Temporary Files settings. Here you can read about each type of temporary file you can delete. To mark the selected type of file for deletion, check its checkbox. To then remove the types of checked files, click the Remove Files button at the top of the list. To return to the Cleanup Recommendations settings, Click the Cleanup Recommendations link in the breadcrumb navigation area at the top of the Settings app window. To delete large or unused files, click the Large or Unused Files setting in the Cleanup Recommendations settings to expand this section and show large and unused files you may want to delete to save space. To delete any of these files, check their checkbox to select them. 
Then click the Clean Up Number of Bytes button, where the number of bytes is the number of bytes to free. To delete local copies of files synced to the cloud, click the File Sync to the Cloud setting in the Cleanup Recommendations settings to expand this section and show local copies of files synced in OneDrive that you may want to delete to save space. To delete any of these files, check their checkbox to select them. Then click the Clean Up Number of Bytes button, where Number of Bytes is the number of bytes to free. To delete unused apps in Windows 11, click the Unused Apps setting in the Clean Up Recommendations settings to expand this section and show unused apps you may want to delete to save space. To delete any of these apps, check their checkbox to select them. Then click the Clean Up Number of Bytes button, where Number of Bytes is the number of bytes to free. To return to the storage settings, click the storage link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the settings app window. To show advanced storage settings, click the advanced storage settings button in the storage management section of the storage settings to expand it. To show storage on other attached drives, click the storage used on other drives setting to show the storage on all connected hard drives like USB drives, for example. To view the breakdown of storage on any drive by category, click its disk usage measurement below its name in the settings page. To return to the storage settings, click the storage link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the settings app window. To choose the drive where new files are saved by category in Windows 11, click the where new content is saved setting under the advanced storage settings. Then select to which connected hard drive to save the different categories of files by selecting a choice from the drop-down for each. To apply a change for each category if you make one, click the Apply button that then appears. To return to the storage settings, click the storage link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the Settings app window. To create and manage storage spaces in Windows 11, which help backup data on a hard drive to prevent hard drive failures using a type of software RAID redundancy, click the Storage Spaces setting button under the Advanced Storage Settings. To then set up a storage space for your multiple connected hard drives, click the Create a Storage Pool and Storage Space link and follow the instructions that then appear. To return to the storage settings, click the storage link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the settings app window. To view information about the connected disks and volumes in Windows 11, click the disks and volumes setting under the advanced storage settings. To return to the storage settings, click the storage link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the settings app window. To view the Windows Backup Settings for the currently signed in account, you can click the Backup Options setting under the Advanced Storage Settings to switch to showing the Windows Backup Settings of the Accounts Settings. Note that this is just a shortcut to those settings, which we will discuss later in the course in the chapter on Account Settings. However, to return to the Storage Settings, if you viewed the Windows Backup Setting option, you must click the Back button in the upper left corner of the Settings app window to return to the previous screen, as this screen is located under the Accounts Settings category in the breadcrumb navigation. To view the Drive Optimization Settings in Windows 11, click the Drive Optimization setting under the Advanced Storage Settings to open the Optimize Drives dialog box. Here you can see the fragmentation status of the connected drives. You will need administrator account authority to change any of these settings. To analyze a drive for fragmentation in Windows 11 if needed, click to select it in the dialog box and then click the Analyze button. To defragment a selected drive if needed, click to select it in the dialog box and then click the Optimize button. To change the drive optimization schedule in Windows 11, Click the Change Settings button in the Scheduled Optimization section of the Optimize Drive dialog box. Then select the optimization frequency and the drives to optimize in the dialog box that opens and click the OK button. To close the Optimize Drives dialog box, click the Close button within it. 
To close the settings app window when finished, click the X button in its upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.